My name is Allison Mullman. I'm a junior and a point guard on the Lee Deadwood girls basketball team. Um, we have a pretty young team this year and a small team, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm looking forward to having fun with our girls. They all work really hard, and we have good team dynamics, and I'm really excited about that. I'm Jaina Prince, and I'm a senior on the Lee Deadwood basketball team, and I'm a forward. And this year is kind of more of a learning and developmental year. Um, we have a lot of younger girls on the team, so the seniors and our point guard, Ali Molman, she and the seniors, we have been helping the younger girls kind of learn and develop so that we can have a pretty good year. I'm Rachel Jansen. I'm a senior on the Lee Deadwood girls basketball team, and I play a forward. And I'm really excited to watch the younger classmen grow because we're just a team that's full of freshmen. And I'm really excited that I get to play my last season with two of my closest friends. We're at Lee Deadwood High School visiting with their head girls basketball coach, Tim Hansen. And Tim, uh, glad to visit you about the girls program here on Black Coast TV. Yeah, well, we're super glad uh, that you guys are here. We really appreciate uh, what you do for uh, local area high school sports. So uh, we're more than happy uh, to be here talking with you today. Coach, what do your numbers look like this year? Uh, they've, they've been a little low. Uh, it's an issue that we're struggling with in the program uh, this last this year and this past year have been uh, have been an issue with the numbers that we have out. So currently, uh, in nine through twelve, we only have twelve girls out for basketball right now, and uh, you know, and half of them are freshmen. So uh, it's something that we're having to deal with. Uh, we're playing some kids that maybe aren't quite ready uh, for the hot light of varsity action, but uh, they don't really have a choice right now. So we're trying to get them prepared as best we can. Coach, who are your seniors? Uh, we've got two seniors this year. Um, both play very important roles for us on our team. Uh, Rachel Jansen, uh, she's a six-foot uh, center for us. And I tell you what, she's a kid that works really, really hard on defense, really cleans the boards for us, and is a great leader. Uh, and then our other senior is uh, Jaina Prince. Uh, she's a 5'11 forward, uh, very athletic, can jump. Uh, does a lot of our scoring for us, but both are great kids, uh, and we look to them uh, to provide that senior leadership for our younger younger uh, classes that we have coming in. We've got a junior. Uh, I, I would guess I would call her a standout. Uh, she's our point guard, Allison Molman. Uh, great kid, great leader, uh, but she's a kid that uh, is really takes charge on the basketball court for us. And uh, you know, if there's the old saying that the point guard is kind of the coach's right hand out there. Uh, she certainly fits that bill. Unfortunately, she got a concussion in our very first game against Harding County, uh, and that's kind of really put us behind the eight ball just a little bit, but uh, we hope that we get her back uh, as soon as possible. Uh, and then we've got some really good younger players that we're hoping will continue to grow and develop. A couple freshmen, uh, Piper Rogers, uh, Taylor Hansen, uh, our kids that we're uh, depending on for quite a few varsity minutes right now. Uh, and then we have a sophomore, Erica Hansen, uh, who is in kind of that same position. We really need her to step up and provide some quality varsity minutes for us. And Coach, I know the Black House Conference is always tough. When you come out here West River, and I, don't, and I don't know how many East River folks know this, but the Black Hills Conference is a, is a really tough, really tough conference to play in. Uh, we've got three AA schools that are in the conference with Spearfish and Sturgis and Douglas. And, uh, you know, Spearfish just got a new coach this year, and it sounds like uh, they're on the rise as well. And Sturgis is always a tough out. Uh, but then you throw in other regional powers here. I mean, you can't talk about the Black Hills Conference without mentioning St. Thomas More and... Uh, uh, Bell Fouche, uh, both have been kind of mainstays in the state tournament or in the Sweet 16 the last couple years. And Hill City has built just a really strong program down there in the Southern Hills. Uh, and if that wasn't bad enough for us, <laughs> then we got to deal with Red Cloud. And uh, Red Cloud, they've put together a really standout program there as well. Rapid City Christian just came in with Olivia Kiefer. So it just doesn't get easy uh, in the Black Hills Conference. It's a, it's a tough matchup almost every night that you, you see a BHC conference game. And then you've got a, some non-conference games that aren't going to be easy probably. Right, yeah, we, uh, we, play, uh, we play a pretty tough set of, of non-conference games for us. Uh, we play uh, Phillip, who's always a strong team out there. They like to get up and down the court. Same thing with New Underwood. Uh, they're a really strong team. We even cross the border and pick up uh, Newcastle and Upton, who have been really, really strong uh, for, 
for uh, their classification and divisions over in Wyoming. So, yeah, we don't seem to catch too many breaks here uh, with our conference and non-conference schedule. But, uh, you know, that's the way it gets set up, and that's what we got to go out and try to compete with, and that's, that's what we're gearing up for. All right, Coach. Thanks for taking time to visit. You bet, absolutely. Again, so uh, so very appreciative of what you guys do for uh, local area teams around here and getting us some uh, publicity and, and getting some of these kids the recognition that they deserve in the programs too. So very much appreciate it.